Your presence attests to your commitment to helping accelerate efforts in national, regional, continental, and global efforts levels require not only to diagnose and identify the daunting security challenges that confront our contemporary world, but also to fashion our solutions to resolving them. Excellencies, I say nothing new when I say that West Africa continues to suffer from the effects of the scourge of terrorism and violent extremism spreading rapidly across the region. Indeed, as recent events continue to render the Sahelian countries of West Africa epicenters of terrorism, we continue to watch in angst how the activities of terrorists and extremist groups have resulted in the unfortunate disregard for the national sovereignty and territorial integrity of our states, the painful deterioration of the strength of our democracies, the wanton displacement of masses of our populations, and the needless loss of considerable numbers of lives. Today, the terrorist groups, emboldened by their apparent success in the region, are seeking new operational grounds, a development that has triggered a southward drift of the menace from the Sahel to coastal West Africa. Cognizant of the underlying causes of terrorism in West Africa, the mitigation of which cannot be achieved through military intervention alone, the Accra Initiative should seek to pursue a comprehensive approach that promotes the adoption of social intervention programs to help address development gaps in vulnerable communities within member states. Certainly, this approach will present the Accra Initiative with opportunities and risks. A key opportunity is that the initiative will not begin from ground zero.